Tuning in for some movie reviews Film flickers and movie reviews Let's hear those movie reviews Film flickers and movie reviews And action! Hi Flickers! Uh, today we are reviewing Aliens uh, which is the second in the franchise of Alien um, okay. Directed by James Cameron, um, so it's kind of taken over from Ridley Scott, uh, but it does continue the theme of the story arc as well, which is brilliant. Uh, the but it's a very it's a very different um, style, which obviously we, we've got the change director anyway. But yeah, yeah. But also the tone of the film was very different. Whereas mm. the first film, Alien, was very much a suspenseful horror f- sci-fi style film. This is much more action orientated, and it, it kind of has to be because yeah. the, the idea is that um, Ripley has been uh, picked up, uh, she's back on Earth, and she's uh, retelling her tale of what happened to the corporation. Um, the corporation decide to go back out there, ostensibly to say that they're going to be wiping out this, this, this alien. And they send... A Why bunch does she believe them? <laughs> and Why? and uh, they send a bunch of Marines out there with her. So it is very much... Uh, that very much sets the tone of the film. Yeah. And as the title suggests, obviously, instead of just one, there's a plethora. There's, there's a lot, mm. lot of aliens. Um, the the one great thing is that we do get to see a new alien in yeah. this as well, which is awesome. And it's great for the franchise to be able to expand like that and sort of grow the, the mythos around this creature. Um, but there is, it, it, it's very different with the character styles as well, with, of course, this being a whole bunch of Marines going in to do it. So you've got all those kind of like jarhead kind of mentalities and everything and and a mix of both male and female as well. It's not just yeah. male orientated, which is good. You know, we've got some real like strong, you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> big tough ladies. <laughs> and yeah, it's not just it's not just paying lip service to uh, to having female characters in there. They are as strong and it comes across very, very heavily that they are as good at what they do as the men are they are as strong they Some, are sometimes better and sometimes better in fact yeah <laughs> um, and uh, yeah one of them is, is definitely a psycho so, which that comes across quite well yeah. and uh, it's, it's it's just a, a, literally another one in the Aliens film where you get these genuine and strong female characters characters that don't mm. they aren't being propped up by the male characters they aren't there just to say again say to pay lip service to to a female yeah. role they are genuinely a strong uh, presence in the film yeah and it's again because Sigourney's Weaver's starring in it as well um, so it is that continuation of her story mm. she's again just absolutely phenomenal and keeps that character going yeah obviously there's a little bit that's kind of she's she's grown a little bit more as a person and stuff there's a, there's a certain huge confidence and determination in it this time as well not to begin with um, but there is yeah and this this actually just shows uh, Sigourney Weaver's acting ability mm. as well right back at the beginning she is very scarred from what happened in the, yeah. in the first film she um, doesn't want to recount it she doesn't want to help her she doesn't want to talk about it and it's all well, she has nightmares she as has well she has nightmares and, you know, about wake it wake up a cold sweat and it's just oh, and yeah. that's in the end that's basically what decides it for her she, effectively you see this you see this very yeah. different you, very, you see this switching moment where she just decides I've had enough of this I'm not going to be cowering shadows I'm going to go and deal with this and it, there is an added value to it as well because um, with her there's even more concern as well because actually the planet that they left I think it's they're trying to say it's like 50 or there was de- it was decades it was, ago yeah, anyway it was, it, was, it was a long time but the company had actually sent um, a bunch of uh, <laughs> guys to go and colonise the yeah. the thing and sort of and terraform it to make it a habitable planet to live on um, and that again sort of added a, a, a bit more weight to her to, to yeah. go out there and actually get this sort of that determination to go and, and go and get this creature destroyed like once and for all um, and to say you know to say because it's it's families that are out there it's mm. not just a bunch of people and stuff so it's and it, and it worked because what it, it what it did is it, it gave mm. it gave Sigourney Weaver a chance to do a very dramatic um, role but it also showed Ripley as a character as a strong and heroic character this was her she had these fears but she was going to overcome them because other people's lives were mm. uh, were on the line and effectively worked as a as a consultant for yeah. him as well I mean you know she didn't have a, a rank of any kind really did you no this is a, just a, a genuinely fantastic film it is again worthy of the classic status yeah if you haven't watched it you 
that's something you definitely need to rectify. Yeah. You can go out to, to a shop and you will find this film relatively cheap on the shelves. And uh, we we reviewed Should Alien. Streaming? Is it streaming now? I haven't seen it streaming, oh. but it might might be. Um, I said before in Alien that you can get the theatrical release as well for Alien, but it's not it's not got a huge value in Alien. I don't think it adds much to it. Mm. Uh, that's completely opposite in this one. I recommend you watch the um, the special Do edition rather than the yeah, normal yeah. theatrical it's a, trailer. Yeah, it's because, director's cut, which is just yeah. it's awesome because there was so much left left out that actually really adds to the suspense to it as well. You know, mm. and actually. It, they, they, there's because I don't want to spoil it, but there are certain situations that they're in that it seems like it's completely hopeless. But you you see them banded together, and it, it it explains a lot more and understands the the risk that they're at. It does. It rounds off an awful lot of the scenes. Yeah, it, it, it's it makes a lot of the scenes have got some very quick cuts in the original yeah, theatrical yeah. release, and the uh, the director's cut special edition it 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 rounds those off and it, it gives a, a better transition. Yeah, there's only one thing that ruins it for me. Yeah, <laughs> Bill Paxton. Bill Paxton. Yeah, it's uh, it's an annoying character and it's played very annoyingly. Well, <laughs> he can act that role really, really well. Some would say method. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, Flickers. Bye. Bye. <laughs>